All right, we're back here on the original course that we've been working on, and we're back here on our hole number one. So we're finally going to get started on building our golf hole. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do uh, to start your golf hole is you want to come down here to this little bulldozer. Click on it. It's your sculpt tab. Uh, over here on the left-hand side, you will see uh, this one that says a clear generated objects brush tool. This is different than the clear generated trees brush tool, which only clears trees. This is the one that you want to use 99% of the time, unless you don't want to clear off this little underbrush stuff down here, and you just want to clear the trees. So I'm going to go ahead and select the objects. Uh, usually just this first tool works fine right here, the little circle. Select it, and what you want to do is you want to come out here and you want to drag over all of this little crap on the ground, all the stuff you don't want out here. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that up a little bit. Come down here to our fairway. I think I'm going to leave this big bunch of trees right here because I like the uh, difficulty it imposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clean just around them down here. Come down here to the front of our fairway and clean that off as well. All right, so now that we've got a clean fairway and we're gonna go ahead and clean up our green as well real quick. There we go. That's a basic little cleaning. Now, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is come to the same sculpt tab that you were just on. Up here in the top left, you will see landscape tools. Click on that and you'll want to come down to landscape flatten. Now, uh, there are a lot of shapes through all five of these tabs. Uh, they all do different things, uh, very similar to each other for the most part. Uh, except for maybe this page right here. It's got a lot of weird ones that you'll probably never end up using. Uh, but this, these two shapes down here are the two shapes you'll want to use the most. This is on your first page. You've got a more of a kind of a squared off shape and more of a mounded shape here. Uh, Using the mound one kind of gives you more smooth curves. This one allows you to uh, do slopes better. I usually would just use this one. This is what I've been using for years. So what you want to do is you want to come out here to wherever you want to start flattening. And you want to just start kind of clicking. And you can kind of see how it moves your ground. This is going to make everything flat in this zone. And it's going to give you smooth edges. So I'm going to start clicking down here. And just kind of make my way up. Clicking slowly, making sure I flatten everything out all the way up to whatever I want the front of the fairway to be, which will be right here. Got that front portion flattened out. Now you want to come here deeper into our fairway and going to start flattening down here as well. Widen it a little bit. Uh, rotate it. Now, if you ever do. Uh, are a little confused, you can look at these controls over here. Uh, if you are on Xbox or PlayStation, of course they're going to be different than me on PC. But uh, other than these controls up over here, everything is the exact same on PC and console. So there shouldn't be too much confusion. If there is, just uh, leave something in the comments and I'll try to get back to you and I'll try to help you out uh, as best I can. I don't play on PC. or I Sorry, I don't play on console, so I will be a little confused, but I'll try my best. All right, so now we've got the whole fairway flattened out as we need it. Now we're going to come up here to the green and flatten that out as well. I think I'm going to kind of raise it a little bit, try to get it a little bit above this water. Yeah, something like that. All right, so I think... That's all I need to show you for flattening. Uh, I guess there is the raise tool. Uh, the only difference between the flatten and the raise tool is flatten flattens the whole ground. Raise will keep the natural slopes of the ground. So like, say I like the way that the slope is over here, but I just want to raise it a little bit. I can raise it. Where if I were to use the flatten tool up here, it would just flatten everything. Very simple uh, to, to learn. It doesn't take a whole bunch of time. Uh, it's just a little meticulous when you start doing a whole course trying to smooth everything out, flatten everything out. But I think that is it for all of that and I'll be getting on to generated objects next.